Kansas City, Missouri, it's Saturday night. Good evening, my name is Rick Chambers and I'm the Executive Director of the Center Education Foundation and I'm happy to be your host for this evening's show. This is our first ever live broadcast and we are thrilled to be together as a virtual Yellow Jacket family. We've got a great show planned for you, but before we get into that, I want to talk to you about why we are doing this. Here's the deal. The reason that we're broadcasting tonight is simple, to support the students and teachers of the Center School District. Public education is always challenging, but the last 13 months have taken those challenges to a whole new level. Our students, teachers, parents, administrators, and support staff have been stretched in ways they could never have imagined. Their resiliency, persistence, and hard work to continue learning has truly been amazing. 
Tonight is our opportunity to thank them, congratulate them, and support their work going forward. And we've got lots of opportunities tonight for you to support our students and teachers. But before we get to that, we have a couple of people who would like to welcome you to tonight's show. Representing our presenting sponsor, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Kansas City, is their manager of community relations, Michaela Stevenson. And welcoming you on behalf of the Center Education Foundation is the founder and board chair, Mr. Bill Gottfriedson. Uh, we are excited to be introducing our presenting sponsor for tonight's event, Saturday Night Live. And welcome Michaela Stevenson with Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Kansas City. Michaela, say hi to our crowd and, and tell them why this is such an important event for our students and teachers. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in. Um, it's gonna be a wonderful evening and fun night. Um, we love supporting Center School District. We love supporting teachers. We love supporting students. And we love supporting all of you. So um, thanks for tuning in and um, enjoy. Thanks, Michaela. Blue Cross and Blue Shield has been a great supporter of the Center Schools and the Center Foundation for many years. We really appreciate them. And we're excited to have them here with us this evening. Uh, enjoy tonight's uh, program. Uh, check out the online auction. Check out the 50-50 contest. And uh, thank you, Blue Cross and Blue Shield, for being part of this event. Thank you so much for having us. Good evening. My name is Bill Godfordson, and I'm the founder and board chair of the Center Education Foundation. On behalf of myself and the board of directors, I welcome you to Center Night Live. We are sad that we cannot be together but like all other institutions and worthwhile things, we are uh, adapting and finding new ways for the Yellow Jacket family to support our teachers and students in the center school district during the uh, COVID pandemic. I want to thank all of our sponsors and especially our presenting sponsor tonight, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Kansas City. They have done such an outstanding, they are such an outstanding partner for the Center School District, and we truly appreciate their continued support for our students. Also, you will see the names of all of our other sponsors on a banner running across the bottom of the screen during the show. They are all making a big difference to our students and to our teachers. Most of all, I would like to thank you for watching the program tonight. You are changing the lives of our center students with your support. You are responsible for over $50,000 in grants given each year to classroom teachers throughout the district. You are helping our families who are homeless overcome their life obstacles to find stable, permanent housing. You have helped our families cope with the pandemic by donating funds for school supplies and food to meet their needs. So enjoy the show tonight. Enjoy the stories from our teachers former teachers and alumni celebrate our distinguished alumni award recipient. Enjoy a yellow jacket cocktail. In fact, most of you aren't driving tonight. So drink up and bid high. Bid on all of your favorite auction items. Participate in the 50-50 contest and continue to make donations to support our teachers and students. As always, it is a great day to be a center yellow jacket. Have a good time. Thank you, Michaela and Bill. Okay, I promise to tell you how you can support our center students and teachers tonight. It's all on our auction website. Uh, that's charityauction.bid. 
forward slash center day or center night live 2021. Uh, if you get lost, go to our foundation webpage, uh, uh, centereducationfoundation.org. All the links are there, and and you can uh, can join in. So uh, you can you can open that on a new browser on your computer. You can do it on your phone. You can do it on a, a tablet. Uh, any way you want to get onto that, uh, go for it. Uh, and that site is where you can purchase tickets for a 50-50 contest. Uh, that contest has been uh, uh, active uh, all day. And I can tell you, we're up to $880 in the pool. So whoever wins that will win $440. Now, you know, don't feel badly if you feel the urge to donate that back to the foundation. But if you've got a bit another way to spend it, that's great, too. But uh, make sure you join in on that. Uh, that supports our teachers, and it's a fun way to, to have a chance to make some money for yourself. Um, the uh, it, That's a lot like the heads and tails game we play at uh, Autos and Auctions, for those who have been there. That contest is sponsored uh, this year by our great partners at Hollis and Miller. Um, at the uh, at, Oh, the other thing on the 50-50, at the uh, end of the program, we'll do a spin to select the winner of that contest. You don't need to be present to win. So if you you uh, have to leave and leave the broadcast, or if you bought tickets earlier, you don't need to be present to win. We will contact you and figure out how to get the money to you. Uh, also on the uh, the auction website, you can make direct, direct donations. There's a donation tab there. Uh, you can either make it to our general fund for teacher grants, or we're going to be hearing some stories tonight from center teachers, and you can uh, you can uh, make donations directly to those fund a need programs that we're going through. Uh, and then finally, you can bid on our auction items. We've got over 100 auction items. I can tell you the bidding on that has been fast and furious today, and, uh, and, and it continues right up to the, to the current moment. So check those out. Uh, uh, keep bidding, bid early, bid often. And uh, again, all that money supports our center uh, students and teachers. So the next thing we're going to do, I, we've got a very special guest that we're going to bring into the, uh, the program uh, here in just a second. Uh, Dr. Yolanda Cargile uh, is wrapping up her first year of, as superintendent of the Center School District. And we're going to have a, a little chat with Dr. Cargile. So uh, there she is. Hello, Dr. Cargile. Hi, how are you? I am wonderful. Thank you for joining us. What a crazy year for your first year as a part of the Center Yellow Jacket family. How's that? How's that gone for everybody? You're, you're right, Mr. Chambers. It has been a challenging year, but I am convinced that I've joined an organization in which we, we rise to the top and we approach challenges together and collaboratively. And I've been extremely proud of our students, staff, parents, support staff, administrators, community, board, center, education, foundation, just really, really proud to join a system in which uh, it's evident that we keep students at the center. And so I'm super excited about getting to a point of beyond the pandemic in which I can really live my entry plan as superintendent and start building relationships face-to-face uh, -face relationships. There have been so many teams and Zoom meetings, and so I look forward to an opportunity just to connect. But I am proud to be a part of Center School District and call myself a Yellow Jacket. That's awesome. We, we are so happy to have you here, and and, and thanks to you and, and everybody in the district for all the, the creativity and hard work that, that has gone into education this year. I know you've got some really exciting plans for the next few years. Can you share a few of the things that, that you're really excited about uh, looking ahead? I'm excited about a lot, but I'll try to narrow it down uh, as I think about the upcoming school year. Um, our plan and, and just working towards getting all students back in buildings and 100 percent of our students in classrooms will be the, the ultimate. And, and that's our goal, excited about real world learning. And so creating experiences for our children and expanding that beyond just high school. And as we think about real world learning and expanding market value assets and creating opportunities for our students to build those uh, work related skills, but also pursue college and career. And so having a multifaceted experience during their journey 
and center school district. And so we really work to expand that and think about what that looks like pre-K through 12th grade as we think about experiences for our students. And we're currently uh, in, in the midst of a community book study. Community book study. How many superintendents can say that? Where these uh, foundation board members, administrators, and staff are collaboratively reading a book, and we're focusing on racial equity. And so in, during this time in the nation where there's increased uh, attention on racial relations, racial biases, and we're delving into those conversations around racial equity in terms of how we serve children and families. And so I'm ex extremely proud of that. Looking forward to continued learning as a community, as a district, so that we best serve children. And then we're also uh, providing trauma smart training for our staff. And so a, a, an increased focus on social and emotional support for our students as we think about all the needs that our students may have, but also equipping our, our, our staff with the tools that they need to best serve children. And so excited about that opportunity that our staff will be able to engage in all in an effort to increase their tool, their toolkits to best serve our, our children who may be struggling. Um, also, just relationships relationship building, improving culture and climate in center school district, enhancing and continuing to create opportunities just to build relationships, gain a deeper understanding and get on the same page as we move forward to serving children. And so uh, allowing opportunities for us to, to really engage in a professional learning community. And I'm excited about that, being able to actually just live and experience my professional why. And that being a focus on creating the absolute best learning experiences for children, as well as the absolute best work environment for staff. And all of that plays in that mix in, in a formula in terms of just being able to, to, to best serve and engage and collaborate. And I'm excited about the upcoming school year. Again, all students in school, all staff back in buildings, that's the goal. That sounds just awesome. I know everybody's excited about getting everybody back together in person. And, and we look forward to next year having an in-person event uh, rather than doing it virtually like we are this year. But uh, thanks so much. Welcome again to Center. Uh, we're all very excited about the future of, of our district and our community. And uh, and eager to, to to work on that for future with you. I, you I know so you've got you've got some auction items you've been watching. You you were saying earlier you keep getting outbid. Yes, and, I have to go back. I yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with you getting outbid. <laughs> so now you know, get back there and 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 get in the mix and uh, and have a great time tonight. Thank you so much for being with us. Will do. Thank you, and a big thank you to our sponsors. Appreciate it. The, uh, the next person I want to bring in is uh, a center alum, Jennifer Blank. And uh, Jennifer is the one who is, uh, for those of you who have played the trivia contest today, Jennifer created that. Uh, that contest is sponsored tonight by Student Transportation of America. And uh, she's going to explain the trivia contest for those who haven't got into it yet. And uh, tell us all about it, Jennifer. Yeah, welcome guys. Uh, we have a live trivia contest going on right now. You can play while you're watching the broadcast. The URL is scrolling right below me on your screen. You can see if you go to www.bit.ly forward slash center trivia, and that does all need to be lowercase, then you can find our 16 question multiple choice trivia game. And all of these questions are center trivia questions. So you get to learn a bit, a little bit in the process as well and really show off your chops. Now there are prizes for our trivia game tonight and it is a free trivia game. So you've got nothing to lose here, guys. Some of our great prizes include some Royals memorabilia. And we also have center foundation wine glasses and beer glasses available to our top three placeholders. Now, like I said, there are 16 multiple choice questions, but if we have a tie for any of those first three places, then there is a tiebreaker question at the bottom there that has to do with donuts. Delicious sounding, right? So check that out. You have until 8 p.m. 
to play trivia, to talk about it with anyone else in the room or maybe compete against anyone else in the room. But you do have to submit your trivia by 8 p.m. tonight in order to be counted toward the prizes. And then all of the answers will be sent out to you either later tonight or tomorrow. So how cool is that? Even if you have no idea and you go through and pick um, random answers, you'll get a really cool email tomorrow that has lots of great trivia facts for you. So play that center trivia and also engage with us on social media. If you have Facebook, hop on in. You can see that some people's comments have been posted on the bottom there. And we'd love to pull more of your comments in and, and show who's here and who's watching. So say hello. That's awesome, Jennifer. And, and I'm Alec Chambers. I'm Rick's son. Uh, Rick's computer just froze up because welcome to virtual 2021. <laughs> well, he's getting going again. Um, but but thanks for the intro about the Center Day Night Live trivia. It's, it's really exciting. I didn't play because I felt that would be unfair. <laughs> Jennifer, did you play? I have not played, but I wrote most of the questions, so that would absolutely be unfair. Okay, but like okay. I said, you can compete with other people in the room or you can collaborate. It is up to you. Either way, even if you're not sure on those questions, go ahead and submit it and you'll be emailed with some cool information tomorrow. Well, thanks, Jennifer. That's awesome that we got that going. The next thing we're going to go to is, is a video about the Center uh, Center Museum, which is located in the basement of Center High School and is curated right now by several incredible, incredible volunteers. Uh, and then we'll hear from former Center teacher Tim Greenwell and current Center teacher Steve Parker. The Center Museum, located at Center High School, is a true community treasure. The museum was started by a dedicated group of retired teachers in the 1980s. Since that time, a revolving group of volunteers, including retired teachers and alumni, have built the collection and hosted many groups touring the museum, currently located at Center High School. With the pandemic, the museum has been closed for the last year, though we hope to reopen to the public sometime this fall. In order to make the museum more available to the public, the Foundation has agreed to support a part-time museum administrator who will have regular though limited hours of operation and will co coordinate the continued work of our volunteers. Joe Mosby from the class of 1972 has agreed to take on this very important role with the museum. During the pandemic, we've explored ways to allow people to experience center history online. Initially, through a series of conversations, with people about their history and experiences at Center. Tonight, we're proud to unveil the new Center Museum YouTube channel, where recordings of these conversations will be archived and available to the public. Here are some brief excerpts of conversations with three very talented band directors from the 1980s through 2003. Carolyn Knapp, Tim Greenwell, and Dr. Amy Knops will talk about a band trip to Dallas for the Cotton Bowl was highlighted by a parade in a blinding snowstorm. Tell us some favorite experiences from band trips. Oh, the favorite experience was the Cotton Bowl when we went to Dallas, Texas. Uh, it was an amazing time. It was in January, and so the weather was an issue. And I can remember that I think Tim and I were with the band having lunch, trying to decide whether or not we were going to honestly do that parade because the snow was going to come and hadn't come yet. And uh, we were watching the weather very carefully and decided we would line up. So the whole band lined it up, I believe, but we were right behind the Kansas State Band. And of course, as we were standing there, the snow did begin. And did it ever snow? The largest flakes. I have the most wonderful picture of the band with the snowflakes coming down. By the end of the parade, we had snow on our hats, the snow on the drums, and very chilly guard members. Paul described it perfectly and very accurately, and I share all those same memories. And, and truly, the parade was both the most amazingly interesting event, I think, in my lifetime. And Carolyn's right. I mean, no sooner did we line up than that snow started. But I think that was probably one of my most proudest moments in all of my time at Center was those kids 
and our chaperones and Carolyn and I um, just marching, literally marching through it. No one fell out of rank. Everyone played and spun and danced and did everything they were supposed to do, just like we rehearsed. And we we went that entire parade route with everyone doing what they were supposed to do. And it, it was truly moving, touching, and for <laughs> freezing. And I remember we we got right into the Coliseum there on the state fairgrounds where the parade and the bowl game were held. And it, it was truly the biggest relief. I, I think we were more cold in Dallas than we ever had been in Kansas City. And that is saying a lot. And now we'll hear some stories of memorable performances by the student singing group known as the 87th Street Gang from longtime faculty advisor, Alice Jean Meacham. One of the ones I remember was, uh, it was down at the plaza at some women's convention or something, and we had to kind of wait out in the hall, and there were other conventions going on, and there were just the Ford Tractor men were there, regional Ford Tractor, and they got to looking at all the pretty girls, and then they heard us sing, and, ha and then they had us come over and sing for them and they passed the basket around and put money in it and gave it to us and so we stopped at Winstead's on the way back to school <laughs> and most of the money and then one year uh, on Veterans Day we were going to a nursing home so I'm teaching them these songs and they said they would say where did you get these songs from World War II? And I said, no, World War I. <laughs> and we went to this nursing home and there, all, all these nursing home people were sitting there just, just, and they started singing those songs and they perked up and started singing with them. And I thought that was just really neat. You can see the full conversations on the Center Museum YouTube channel, which can be reached through the museum Facebook page or the foundation website, www.centereducationfoundation.org. There are also some wonderful tributes to Don Schaefer, some of which we'll see a bit later this evening. We want to add to this collection. Anyone interested in sharing stories for the collection, please contact me via the foundation website, Center Education Foundation. .org. Hello, Yellow Jackets. Staff alumni Tim Greenwell here with a simple message. It's time once again and always to support the Center Education Foundation. Their years of assistance and work on behalf of educators, teachers, staff, students, and families in the Center School District is unmatched. And even though we cannot be together in person this year to support a fundraiser, it is time now to support the auction. Please do so at your convenience. And remember too, throughout the year, you can donate and contribute to the foundation at any time and your donations and contributions are tax exempt. Remember folks, it is important to support our beloved school district because once a yellow jacket, always a yellow jacket. Long live center. Hello, center supporters. I just wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your generosity, and your help in starting our program, our video production program here at Center High School. Over the past six years, the Center Foundation has granted our program over $10,000 to purchase video and audio equipment to allow our students a hands-on experience. This has led to over 204 videos created by our young scholars in a real hands-on collaborative learning environment. Uh, these are all posted on YouTube we have a Hive TV video channel, which I'm proud to say now has over 580 subscribers. Like I said, 204 videos posted. And since its inception, over 67,000 views. This has been super exciting for our students and an opportunity that is only possible from your generous donations. Many of our students are taking the skills they've learned in class using these tools to further their college experience and create videos for their classes in college, I've heard from many students, and, and even have their own little side businesses while in college, creating videos uh, for, for profit. Uh, also, 
some of our alumni are coming back and contributing to our program. Uh, for instance, providing play-by-play -play for our new live stream sporting events. Specifically, I'd like to point out one student, Christian McDonald. Christian graduated two years ago and was an active member of Hive TV while here at CHS. He even produced his own sports broadcast uh, debate show. Christian found his passion using this equipment and in this class to pursue, he is now pursuing a career in sports journalism at the University of Missouri. Christian secured an internship his freshman year and worked at the TV station, texting me often saying, thank you, Mr. Parker, thank you for the opportunity. The only reason I got this job was because of the, the knowledge I learned and the skills I learned while I was in the high TV class. Christian is now even producing his own podcast on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, he's part of a group that is sending this out nationally. So keep an eye out for Christian. He is one of our proud alumni of this program. But once again, I just really wanted to thank each and every one of you for your continued support of supporting these new and innovative programs that teachers come up with uh, throughout the district. It really does make a difference in students' lives. All right, I'm back. Thank you, Alec, for pitching in when my computer went bonkers. Uh, that is uh, the joy of technology. And thank you, Tim and Steve, for those great messages. They, you know, the work that Steve has done building that broadcast journalism program up from nothing is truly amazing. We are very proud as a foundation to have been able to help him. If you want to help Steve and his students continue to build that program, you can donate directly to that effort with the fund a need option on the auction website. We'll hear from some other teachers about the amazing work of their students a little bit later. I'd also like to, uh, to give a shout out to our silver level sponsors this year. They are uh, Gwen Mundorf Law Firm, CBiz, Lane 4 Property Group, Centric Landmark National Bank, Navitas, Community America Credit Union, and the Redbridge Shopping Center. Their support truly makes a difference. I hope everyone's having a good time this evening. We got a special treat coming up here to boost the fun level up just a bit. Uh, Bill Garbertson mentioned the, uh, the specialty cocktail of the day, and it's called the Yellow Jacket Stinger. This, uh, and this is a beautiful drink. It was designed by 2007 CHS graduate, Brian Love II, who is a very well-respected bartender over in Lawrence, Kansas. During the pandemic, he's taken full advantage of his time to build a studio in his apartment where he can share his talents with the world via his YouTube channel called The Bourbonist 785. Brian's gonna show us exactly how to mix the Yellow Jacket Stinger along with a couple of bonus drinks. Enjoy. Good morning, Yellow Jackets. These are your morning announcements for Thursday, March. Sorry, had a flashback. Hello, everyone. My name is Brian Love. Welcome to my bar. And it's tough out there. We all know that. But when you get home and you want to relax, it's not uncommon to make yourself a little cocktail. And I have a recipe to help you do just that. In a cocktail shaker, add one and a half ounces of London dry gin, such as beef eater or tangere. Add 0.75 ounces of simple syrup. Add one ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. Add one ounce of blue curacao. Add ice. Toss slightly. Strain into a Collins glass. And top with soda. Garnish with a lemon wheel and rosemary sprig. This cocktail is called the Yellow Jacket Stinger. If you find yourself without simple syrup or one of these fancy soda siphon bottles, a can of Sprite will get you pretty close. For those of you who are fans of more of a rum variety, I have a cocktail recipe for you. This one is a little bit harder, but only because you need to have crushed ice on hand. You can either crush it yourself using an ice mallet, or if you have a blender on hand, that is also good. Or on the way home from work, stop by Sonic and get an extra cup of ice. It will come in handy. In a cocktail shaker, add one ounce of cream of coconut, 1.5 ounces of your favorite white rum, 
0.75 ounces of fresh squeezed lime juice, one ounce of fresh pineapple juice, and one ounce of blue curacao. Add ice, shake lightly, strain into a Collins glass, add crushed ice, this cocktail is called the Sting Remedy. Since we're having all kinds of fun with blue cocktails today, how about a third one? This one with blue ice cream. That's right, I said it, alcohol and ice cream. In a cocktail shaker, add two ounces of your favorite vanilla vodka and 0.75 ounces of simple syrup. Add one scoop of blue ice cream, in this case, blue raspberry sorbet. Add ice and shake hard. And strain. This cocktail is called Blue Ice. I recommend you try all three of these cocktails, but respectively. Uh, maybe not all in one go. That is the opposite of relaxing. That is really relaxing. <laughs> Of course, you can also uh, space these drinks out with a glass of water. It never hurts to rehydrate. That being said, it's time for my second Sting Remedy. So if you'll excuse me, if you enjoyed these recipes and want to see more, please subscribe to my channel on YouTube, The Bourbonist 785. Cheers and enjoy. Hello, Senator Community Health Services. Uh, David Leone here. I have the uh, privilege of uh, spending 27 years of my professional career as an administrator uh, in the center school district. Uh, during that time, I watched the beginning of the Education Foundation. And during that time, I watched uh, the Education Foundation Board and Rick Chambers build the foundation so that it could provide grants for teachers, which ultimately supported center students. You have an opportunity to uh, open up that, uh, that wallet, that pocketbook, get out that credit card, uh, write a check, and, and help center students um, on April the 10th. Look at right here. This is what I got at the last gala and uh and i love it so get out there buy some stuff support center kids because as always it's a great day to be a center yellow jacket it's always a great day when we hear from dave leone thank you dave and thank you brian for that that wonderful demonstration of the cocktails uh, i wanted to give out some more sponsor shout outs uh, this time for our bronze sponsors, there's five of them. Henderson Engineers, a new sponsor for us this year. Stiefel Nicholas, Lincoln Investments, Sedexo Food Services, and Keystone Information Systems. So thanks for their support. Now, we do have some contests going. We got a 50-50 contest going, and uh, I'm going to get an update in a minute on, on where that pot is. We've also got the trivia contest, and and. Uh, we're going to bring Jennifer Blank in again to, to update us on, on how that's going and also share some of the uh, social media conversations that are going on uh, in, in the Facebook chat. So, Jennifer, what's going on tonight? All right. So we've got 35 people who have so far submitted their answers for our center trivia tonight. We have a lot of people on social media talking about how hard the questions are. Yes, they are hard, uh, but that is so that you can't Google them, right? They're multiple choice. If they're really straightforward, it'd be too easy to look up. So just take your time, talk them out with other people. And like I said earlier, even if you don't get them right, that's okay because we'll send you some answers later. No one's got and a perfect score yet so just do your best on that trivia remember the website for the trivia is www.bit.ly forward slash center trivia that does all need to be lowercase to take you there and it's 16 multiple choice questions plus that one donut bonus question it is free trivia and we have prizes that we will award but remember it does have to be submitted by eight o'clock p.m at eight o'clock the form will turn off 
and you won't be able to submit it any longer. Now we do have a lot of people interacting with us on Facebook, which we love. We love seeing uh, you interacting with us, you saying hi, you making those drinks. I know some people said that they bought the ingredients ahead of time, which is amazing. We want to see all of your blue drinks, your Stinger Remedy, your Yellow Jacket Stinger, your Blue Ice, those really cool drinks that we just learned how to create. So if you find the post on our Facebook event page, there's one post to collect all of those drink photos. There's also another post where you can post some high school photos of yourself if you're brave enough um, to try and share with each other a little bit about our different high school experiences if you are an alumni or if you're a parent, maybe post a cute kiddo photo for us. So we love engaging with you online and there's a couple of different ways to do that. Can't wait to see you on the computer. Thank you, Jennifer. That was a great update. Appreciate uh, all the conversations going on. I, I'm seeing a lot of things about the Stingers, so that uh, obviously uh, hit, hit a, a, a nerve for everybody, and and uh, everybody's excited about that. I, uh, Alan Ferris says, I don't drink mixed drinks, but I'm rethinking that. Alan's one of our great foundation board members, and uh, uh, we'll, we'll get you on board here pretty quickly, Alan. Uh, so, the trivia contest and 50-50, as Jennifer said, will both close at 8 p.m. So we've got about uh, 23 minutes left uh, to get in on the action on those. So, so get your entries in before it's too late. Another one of our real rock star teachers is Chrissy Chandler. She uh, teaches computer science and is also the coach for our high school robotics team. And we got a special message from Chrissy uh, just for you. Hello everyone, my name is Chrissy Chandler and I am a computer science and robotics teacher at Center High School. I'm also the proud coach of Team 1827, the High Robotics from Center High School. When I took over the team about five years ago, I realized pretty quickly that we didn't have the funds that we needed to compete with the larger teams in the region. At the time, we had about five students, maybe four who attended practice regularly. And not only did we not have the funds to compete with the other teams, we didn't have the resources we needed to build and program robots effectively. So I was given the idea to reach out to the Center Foundation and apply for a grant. And it has been a life-changing experience. We went from a team of four or five students who just built robots in the basement of our building to a team of about 15 students strong who have the resources to put on community events to engage more students in STEM and have the resources to compete effectively against the other robotics teams in our region. So much so that a couple of years ago, we had the privilege of doing so well at one of our regional qualifiers that we came out in the top half of the state and were invited to participate in the state competition, had the funds to travel to St. Louis and allow our students to have that opportunity to compete alongside some of the best teams in the state of Missouri. It was a great experience. And and now this team that is 15 strong, a lot of these students are going to college to be engineers and computer scientists. One of them is entering a medical school program when he graduates next year. And some have actually gone into the field of engineering and a couple as software engineers. So none of this, none of the success of this program that has engaged these students in this rich STEM learning and giving them the opportunity to learn these advanced computer science and engineering skills. None of this would be possible without the assistance of the Center Foundation. So on behalf of myself and on behalf of Team 1827, the High Robotics, we thank you from the bottom of our heart. Our success, the fun that we've had, the growth that we've seen in this program is not possible without the support of the Center Foundation. Thank you so much for everything that you do for the students in Center School District. Thank you, Chrissy. Uh, you do a great job. Uh, we, we also have a fund-to-need donation option for Chrissy's robotics program on the auction website. 
if you'd like to directly support Chrissy uh, and her students. Uh, you know, she is, is one of the many teachers who uh, are really changing lives uh, for our, our, our kids here in the Center School District. We're going to bring uh, Alec back in, and he's going to show us the uh, auction website, talk about some of the uh, auction items. They're, uh, they're more fast, but there's a good bargain. What do we got going, Alec? Well, we got the auction items live and up, uh, and we got, as you guys see, lots of notifications popping up on our end. That means people are bidding, which is really, really, really exciting. Uh, we got a Patrick Mahomes autographed football. Patrick Mahomes is not in a boot in Augusta, Georgia. Good for Mahomes. Good for us. Good for the Chiefs. Uh, we, we've got so many good Chiefs things. So many. We got some vineyards. Um, the the what's the Isengard one, Dad? What's that all about? Uh, Isenglass Estates Winery. It's, it's down in Lacine, Kansas. Uh, it is. It's an amazing place, and they they donated several different packages. They've got a guest house package. Looks like that's currently going for $500. Uh, it's a bargain even at that. Uh, their, their guest cottage, it's a 600-acre winery. Uh, they've got their own wines. They've got horses. It's a cool, cool place. You really enjoy those. And that's up to $500, but worth much more than that. So we look forward to seeing a lot more people in there. We've got pages and pages of items here. So it's going really well. Keeping our entire household busy, keeping a keeping an eye on it. And my mom is keeping an eye on the auction. They've got me working here to, to keep everything going. So we're having a good time over here at the Chambers House. We hope you all are having a good time wherever you are watching us tonight as well. Thanks to everybody supporting the Center Foundation. I, of course, am a teacher at Center High School as well uh, and the recipient of several uh, grants that have taken our students to the World War I Museum, a uh, wonderful museum that we have right here in the heart of Kansas City, also taking us to the Truman Library and experience the, the, the live experience of being Harry S. Truman and his presidential ca uh, cabinet. So really, really amazing stuff going on with the Center Foundation, including funding this. Th this website is a paid website that many center teachers have used, StreamYard, and, and it's funded by the Center Foundation as well and has allowed us to host several guest speakers during this virtual year. Uh, so the Center Foundation has helped all of us teachers to, to continue to be flexible and try to make things work in this, the weirdest year that we have, many of us ever had. Thank you, Alec. And, and uh, I, I just got an, an update on the uh, Yellow Jacket Stinger. This is from Kelly Crockett. Uh, one of our great center parents, uh, the, the words she uses are dangerously good. So, uh, Brian, you did well. Um, we, uh, I just got an update on our 50-50 contest. It's up to $990, and that was actually a few minutes ago. It may be over $1,000 an hour. It's going to get there. Uh, so the, the winner of that is going to get half the pot. So it is well worth your investment. To, uh, to check out and, and, and get uh, get your entry in. That will be open for another 16 minutes, so don't wait too long on that. Also, the, the trivia contest will close at 8, so uh, get those answers in. Our auction tonight is going to stay open until 9 o'clock. We'll wrap this broadcast up about 8.30, but we're going to keep the auction open just a little bit longer, let everybody get their last-minute bids in. So uh, keep an eye on those bids, and, and uh, we look forward to some really uh, great, uh, great, great bargains for you and great opportunities to raise money for our center students and teachers. I'm going to bring in another one of those teachers now. Um, Derek Pruitt is another just fantastic teacher here in the center school district, and he, um, he taught elementary school at Center Elementary for many years. He, uh, he started the first Lego program there at Center Elementary. He is now teaching at Center Middle School, and it does a great job preparing our students for careers in math, engineering, and technology. And he's got a message that you need to hear. Uh, let's hear from Derek Pruitt. How do I begin to thank a foundation for allowing me to broaden my students' future through STEM. Many of my students stepped out on the competition stage through robotics for the very first time. And because of your generosity, my students have had a great opportunity to visit MU and KU campuses, as well as we've competed internationally in robotics. We have 
expanded the robotics program at Center Elementary through five of the sixth grade levels now, first through fifth. And now that same generosity is being felt at the Center Middle School. Your gift has allowed the Lady Robo Jackets to bring home the research award in their very first competition. I know with your continued gift of giving, the sky is the limit for our future engineers. So thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing us to help our kids dream with their eyes wide open. Thank you, Derek. Uh, Derek is one of the real inspiring teachers that I've had the privilege to work with here in the, the center district over the years and just does a, a, an amazing job for our kids. We really appreciate Derek. Um, before, uh, and also Derek, we, we do have a fund to need option for Derek and uh, funding uh, the other uh, coaches that support our robotics, both at the elementary and middle school level. So uh, if you, you feel inspired by Derek's words, uh, go to the auction website and, and make a donation to our uh, uh, funded need program for uh, elementary and middle school robotics. Uh, before we start the next segment for one more reminder, trivia and 50-50 contest both close at 8 p.m. about 13 minutes from now. We will announce the winners for both of those at the end of the program this evening. So uh, one last chance to get in on, on the action on those. This, this next segment that we're doing is, is one of my favorites, and, and we've been doing this for about 10 years now. It's called our Distinguished Alumni Award Program. And, and the, the objective is to recognize the accomplishments of some truly distinguished alumni from the Center School District. Uh, past recipients have included business leaders, artists, scientists, medical professionals, and community leaders. Uh, if you're interested, the foundation website has the full list uh, of the, the uh, recipients over the last 10 years. And we are, are very proud to recognize two recipients tonight. Uh, while we are sorry that we can't acknowledge them in person, and, and one of the great traditions of the program is that our distinguished alums visit Center High School and visit with our students, and, and we've not been able to do that again this year, but we will get these two people uh, to the high school when we can and, and give them a chance to interact with our kids. Um, but we're very happy to, to be able to recognize them virtually on the broadcast. The, the first recipient tonight is Dr. Mark Kaler from the class of 1970. Mark is one of the founders of College Park Family Care, one of the largest medical practices focused on families in the metro area. Family practice is one of the most overlooked but tremendously important disciplines in medicine and truly treating the whole person. And that has always been Mark's philosophy and one that permeates the practice at College Park. In addition, Mark has dedicated countless hours to mission trips and service to those in need. He truly lives his faith every single day. Now we have a few video messages that we want to share with you and Mark that will give you an idea of the impact he's had on so many people in our community and beyond. Hello, I'm Dr. Mike Matthews, and I've had the joy of practicing with Dr. Mark Kaler at College Park Family Care for now 21 years as a medical professional. I have known Mark starting in junior high through high school and church and medical school and residency. He has been an example and inspiration and a mentor for me personally and professionally. He is an excellent academician and teaches us providers on a regular basis to improve our clinical skills. I've also seen Mark's faith in Christ demonstrated as he reaches out to our patients who are hurting and in need. Congratulations, Mark, on this award of lifetime achievement. You well deserve it. My name is Alan Ferris, and I graduated center in 72. I've had the pleasure of knowing Mark Kaler since I was 11 and he was 13. We were in Boy Scouts together. Mark was one of the guys who we all looked up to. He spent lots of time with us little kids showing us the ropes, helping us with merit badges and advancement, and generally keeping us out of trouble. He never made us feel like we were a pest. He was a role model even then. 
if not for Mark and his father, George, who was our scoutmaster, I may not have stayed around long enough to get my eagle. Later, after med school, Mark became my doctor and has been so for almost 40 years. You often hear one of the most important traits of any doctor is their bedside manner. Mark's the poster child for what that should be. Knowledgeable, friendly, caring, patient, and understanding. Thanks for keeping me alive all these years. Congratulations, Mark, on this very well-deserved honor. Hi, Mark, it's Tracy, and I'm so excited to get to be one of the people to congratulate you tonight for receiving this very well-deserved honor. I have watched you for five decades, living a life that is exemplary, and it's been a life of service. All of the people that have been taken care of on lots of levels in College Park Family Care are the recipient of your huge heart and your vision. I'm one of those and my family also fit that category. So congratulations, well done. Kales, congratulations on your award. I love you so much and I'm proud of you for being so dedicated to all your patients and taking such good care of them and keeping up with your medicine and knowing so many things. It's really a blessing. Thank you all. And this is the award that Mark will receive. Uh, it's a nice crystal piece. It's a tradition that we've been giving our distinguished alumni, like I say, for about 10 years. One of the real joys of, of my role with the foundation is, is I, I get to interact with these distinguished alums and, and the people that, that, that know them and have worked with them. And, and the, the thing I hear with everybody I talk to about Mark Kaler is his, his personal care and, and devotion, not only to his patients, but to just pretty much everybody he crosses their paths with in his life. Uh, just, just an amazing man and, and very, very proud to, uh, to bring him into the ranks of our distinguished alumni. Mark is, is traveling this weekend and not able to join us live this evening, but uh, he did make a video that he wanted to share with you uh, regarding this award. Good evening, everybody. Thank you, Rick, and the Center High School Educational Foundation for the award. I'm humbled and honored uh, to receive it. And thank you, Tracy, for the nomination. Thank you, Mike and Alan Ferris for the uh, kind words. Thinking back on uh, my time in high school at Center, there's a lot of things I'm grateful for, but one of the things was what a, a great opportunity it was to get ready for college. I, I thought about my Chem 11 class at the University of Missouri, which I had to take as a, a pre-med student. And it was kind of a review for me in many ways. I'd seen it before because we had some pretty great high school chemistry teachers. And I contrasted that with the kids from Cape Girardeau or Bolivar, Missouri, who had never had a chemistry class and they really struggled in that class. Also, uh, Coach Grow had a big impact in uh, my life, a civics class. I remember when he took us down to uh, Central High School, it took our civics class down there in exchange program and some of the Central High School students, civics class, I guess, came out to center for a week. And uh, I remember thinking, um, this was the first time I'd ever been a minority. And it was, it was uh, different being just a small group of white kids in an all black school. And for the first time, I kind of understood a little bit about how um, blacks feel all their lives. So I thank you for that, Coach Grow. It was a life-changing experience. I, Albert Einstein said that uh, education is what remains after everything you learned in school has been forgotten. So that was a, a great part of my education at Center. Also, um, I think of Miss Laswell, who made us read a book a week in my sophomore English class. And at the time, I thought it was silly. And, it took a lot of time, a lot of work, but now I credit that uh, reading with a uh, uh, for a lot of my love for reading today. I love to read at night. I love to go down to the Shakespeare in the Park uh, Shakespeare Festival in Kansas City every uh, summertime, and I attribute that a lot to a lot of the books we had to read back there in high school. 
and Ken Angel, our physiology teacher, I remember he showed a film called The Subtotal Gastrectomy in that class. And I remember thinking with amazement as the surgeon was cutting open the abdomen, I thought, oh, it could be in there, blood or fluid or whatever. Didn't have any idea really. But it, after he opened it up, all the organs were just there and they were beautiful. And I thought, this is so cool. And I really attribute uh, that experience to, in terms of kindling my interest in medicine. So um, I'll close with the idea that um, I think it was Tom Baudet, you know, the old Motel 6 guy, we'll leave the light on for you. He said that, um, uh, that he's talking about the difference between school and life. He said in school, um, they teach you a lesson and then you take a test over it. But in life, they give you a test, which in turn teaches you a lesson. And uh, when I first started practice in the 1980s, interest rates were sky high. Inflation was 14.6%. And we had borrowed money at 15%, just me and my partner, to buy tongue blades and uh, examination tables and so forth. And it was really pretty scary um, since I didn't know much about business or economics. Um, in, in my training, those fields were never spoken about. But uh, I, would, I would credit the Lord for the call and the uh, persistence. He brought wonderful um, colleagues, great doctors, great... Um, uh, men and women who cared about medicine and cared about people and uh, ultimately that made us successful that was the uh, the lesson that I feel like we learned in that first year of practice now after some 40 years in practice it's still the same the people that the Lord has brought into our practice I'm talking about the front office people the laboratory people the technicians the x-ray folks the uh, nurses all those are the people it's a people business that I'm in, you know, and those people have been awesome. And I, I just am blessed to have worked with so many great people over all these years. So, um, again, it was a, uh, I think the perseverance lesson in, in high school that helped to uh, get us through that difficult uh, test. So once again, thank you so much for the award. I wish, I only wish I could be there in person so I could see everybody again, but I uh, thank you for this opportunity to express a, a few thoughts about the experience. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate those great words. Uh, before I introduce our, our next recipient, uh, uh, two updates. One, you've got one more minute to uh, to get in on the 50-50 and uh, trivia. Uh, the 50-50 is up to 1160. Let's see if we can get it to 1200 before it closes. So thanks for that. It just hit 1200. So thanks everybody for, uh, for contributing to that. Also got a message from Chrissy Chandler herself, the star of that uh, video a few minutes ago reminding me that our Center Alternative School, uh, coached by Jerusha Geringer, has a great uh, uh, robotics team as well. So uh, your rob robotics is something that is a, a district-wide um, uh, endeavor and, and, and it opens up opportunities for so many of our kids to uh, learn about technology in a, in a very fun and creative way. So uh, our next recipient, uh, the Distinguished Alumni Award is Essie Igudosa. She's a graduate from 2005. Essie is an attorney who's built a stellar career in and around professional sports, especially the NFL. Uh, she attended Hampton University and Florida A&M Law School and earned her uh, Juris Doctor in, in 2013. She started her legal career with NFL Films and then spent five years working in legal and business affairs for the National Football League. While at the NFL, as he helped start the Black Engagement Network, so providing support and resources for Black professionals working in pro sports in a variety of roles. Under SE's leadership, the Black Engagement Network advocated for the NFL to respond more strongly to racial injustice, laying the groundwork for the public statements finally made by the NFL this past summer in response to the George Floyd killing. After uh, spending her time with the NFL, she became associate counsel for the Carolina Panthers football team, working in sponsorship sales, event, events, and a whole lot of other uh, uh, issues with, within that organization. She also advised current and former Panthers players on social justice and community engagement. Uh, in May of 2020, right in the middle of a pandemic, as they branched into an entrepreneurial career, founding and leading House of Athlete, a Florida-based company focused on wellness, performance, 
and social involvement for high-level athletes. She continues her role in promoting diversity in the ranks of sports executives as a founding advisory committee member of the Pro Sports Assembly, a national organization of executives committed to diversity, equity, and social responsibility for professional sports organizations. We also have some congratulatory messages for Essie. Stay tuned. I just wanted to congratulate you uh, on receiving this award. That's unbelievable. And uh, we're super proud of you. I'm super proud of you uh, and super inspired by you and everything that you do, you know, outside of HOA and the platform you have and the causes you speak on. And, you know, it's a huge inspiration to me to, to do more uh, with myself outside of work and family. So appreciate you. Congratulations. You deserve it. And uh, we'll celebrate after you see this video. What's up, I say congratulations on yet another big, big accomplishment by being honored by Center High School. Uh, we are all extremely, extremely proud of you uh, and are rooting for you day in and day out. So we're only going to be doing bigger and better things down the pipeline. Everybody knows this. So, uh, yeah, once more, congrats. And we all are rooting for you and love you very much. Love. Hey, SA, it's your big brother. I just wanted to tell you how proud I am of you. You've literally done everything you said you always wanted to do, whether it was becoming an attorney, working in sports, and now you're making history at a Black-owned company with one of your best friends. And it's amazing to watch. It's exciting. And I can't wait to see what you do next. Just keep going. Keep being an amazing example for the next generation. Hell, you're even an example for me. Um, so I just can't wait to see what what comes next and, and what new barriers you break down. I love you and I'm proud of you. Hey, SA, this is Sean Thornton, your friend from 05. Um, graduated with you at Center. Um, just wanted to give you a congratulations to everything you've done over the years. I noticed you... Um, had come from volleyball in college, being really great at that, even in high school, to now um, in the NFL, and now receiving a, a prestigious award as the center distinguished alumni. I'm so proud of you. Um, I hope that you continue to do great things. Uh, one love. Hi, it's your big sister sending you love. And congratulations on this high honor. You deserve it. You deserve all good things. You're such a beautiful, hardworking, phenomenal, strong woman. And I've always admired you. You're like my little big sister, of course, my protector. Um, and I just I just love you. And I'm, I'm so proud of you, including your nephew. He's so proud of you, too. So just keep shooting for the stars. You deserve it. And... I'm just, I can't wait to, to see all the good things that are going to come your way. And I'm here for the ride, baby. I got your back. I love you. Hey, say, you got those congratulations. Center High School is recognizing you for your accomplishments, your honor matter. Hallelujah. Very good. You said you were going to become a sports attorney. That's what you told me from oh, many years ago in high school. I said, congratulations, you will be there. Yes, indeed. You made it to the NFL corporate office as an attorney. Now you're in the private sector, the house of athlete, black-owned enterprise, as the president. Keep your heads up, baby. You will be successful. You will make it. As your father, I'm praying for you. Congratulations, love and peace. Congratulations, S.A. Agadosa, and uh, S.A. is here tonight joining us live 
Uh, and so you didn't know we were doing that video for you. And, <laughs> and, and one of the fun things about our little tool here is I got to see your face backstage as we were watching that. And uh, uh, I, I, I know that uh, those messages uh, attached to you. So I really appreciate everybody contributing to that. Um, and say so you've had a great career and, and, and nothing but, but great things ahead of you. You want to share any thoughts uh, with our audience tonight uh, about this award? Yes. On that one, um, but I uh, first I want to dedicate this award to my mother, um, my hero, my inspiration. Um, unfortunately, she passed away last year, um, and I wouldn't be who I am or where I am today uh, without her um, paving the way for me and setting the most amazing example of what it is to be an ambitious Black woman um, who uh, will do anything to defeat the odds and chase their dreams. I feel like I'm still really young in my career, so I'm very honored to uh, be receiving this award. I know I'm the youngest recipient in the history of this award, um, so thank you all for acknowledging my very short um, but admittedly exciting career that I've had so far. Um, a special thanks to my family. You saw them. Uh, they are my rock. The Igadosa family um, has played a major role in Center School District and a lot of important things, including helping implement Black History Month in the Center School District when my older brother uh, was at Boone Elementary. So this award means not only a lot to me, but to my family. Um, so thank you to my father um, and my siblings that really ground me in everything that I do, as well as my nieces and nephews. Uh, I also wanna thank uh, Coach Schieferich. Um, she was my coach my senior year at uh, Center High and really helped me hone in on my skills and get recruited. And I got a full ride to Hampton University. Um, and a lot of that was because of her. So I just want to give a shout out to her wherever she is. She played a huge role in my volleyball career, which really paved the way for everything that uh, I've been able to accomplish. I also want to uh, thank Mr. Leone, uh, my favorite person in Center School District, uh, hands down. He was just always that person that was always, I felt like he was just always cheering for me from afar. And he was the one person that anytime I saw him, he always gave me a big hug and was just super supportive of me, of um, my volleyball team and everything that I wanted to do. So thank you to Mr. Uh, Leone. Also, uh, Ms. Dawson, I know I gave you uh, a headache probably every day you saw me, um, me and Jernisha, but uh, you really pushed me to be the best version of myself. You love me, even though you didn't like admitting it all the time. Um, but Mrs. Dawson played a huge role in just pushing me to be great. Uh, Mrs. Houck, I probably gave you a headache too. I think I gave everyone a headache. Um, but uh, thank you to Mrs. Houck as well. Um, really uh, instilled in me what like what it means to believe in myself. Like uh, there weren't a lot of black girls in AP biology, and um, she always just pushed me to be better and just was very loving and nurturing to me uh, at Center High School. I, you know, I went to private school my whole life. And so coming to Center, I was really, really intimidated to, you know, join a public school and I didn't know anybody, although I grew up my whole life um, three blocks away on 98th and Holmes. So Center really embraced me, embraced me as a volleyball player. I was the face of the volleyball team for four years. I don't know if any of my stats are still standing, um, but center plays such a big part of uh, the woman I am today. I'm so dedicated to showing black girls that they can dream bigger and their possibilities are endless. And I hope that I've done that. I try to pour back into the school as much as I can. And I look forward to being even more involved uh, with center high school and center school district um, as I continue my career. Uh, I also want to encourage, uh, you know, our students to attend HBCUs and, uh, you know, really spread their wings and fly. Center is such an amazing school and it's such a gem of Kansas City that a lot of people don't know about. Um, so I'm grateful for the opportunity to be a Center alum. Um, I also want to announce that I'm going to be donating a thousand dollars to Center um, School Foundation. Um, and I can I, I just I'm looking forward to being a part of the family for years to come. But thank you all. Thank you um, to uh, the Chambers family as well. That's been pretty hands on and putting this on. 
as well as Alec Chambers, uh, you know, the work that you're doing with the Black Student Union. I just really want to give you a shout out. Um, you know, I know you reached out to me, but there's so much important work. I know the, the landscape in Center School District is changing and it's much more diverse than it was before. And I look forward to being a resource to all of you um, to help respond to the, the amazing diversity that um, is at Center High School and Center School District. But thank you. And I will just continue to keep achieving and hopefully making you guys proud on the East Coast. Thank you, Essie. Uh, great words. And, and we look forward to, uh, to having you involved. And thank you for that uh, donation. Appreciate that. Uh, we will put it to very, very good use. So uh, thanks to, to both S.A. And, and Mark for the support tonight. Uh, we really appreciate all that they have done in, in representing uh, Center and uh, look forward to, to uh, many good years. You, you, you should know that now that you're, uh, you're part of the uh, Center Distinguished Alumni Group, uh, you'll be hearing from me in the future about ways that you can help uh, uh, continue to support us. I'm always here. Very good. Thank you very much, and have a good evening and a good weekend. Thank you. You guys too. All right. We are, we're we're nearing the end of our program tonight. The 50-50 and trivia contest are closed, and we'll be announcing the winners of those shortly. Uh, you can still bid on auction items, and you can still make donations. Uh, we will keep those open. Uh, the auction will be open until 9 o'clock tonight. Uh, donations will continue to be open. We'll keep that open until sometime tomorrow. Uh, if, if you feel moved to make a donation uh, to any of the, the general donations or any of the particular funded needs. And uh, speaking of funded needs, we got one more story to hear from one of our uh, great educators. One of the priorities of our foundation has always been our early childhood education. We recognize that a good start for our kids can have a transformative impact on their lives. And there's really no earlier start than the work that our parent educators do in our Parents as Teachers program. I'd like to hear from the director of that program, Sheila Lewis, talking about one of their many foundation-funded projects. Hi, everyone. My name is Sheila Lewis, and I'm the director for the Center School District Parents as Teachers program. And we are a fortunate recipient of one of the foundation grants. Ours was called Blankets and Books which we purchased these beautiful blankets and books. Originally, it was intended just as an added bonus for families that joined our program to receive one of these. This year, due to the pandemic, we had to think outside of the box. With that, we offered a virtual story time for our families. The morning one was called Pajama Party Time, and the evening one was Sleepy Time Story Time. So when the family signed up for these, story times we delivered to their doorsteps one of these beautiful blankets and books included in the video is going to be pictures of the families with their blankets and books and along with some quotes thank you so much Thank you, Sheila, and the Fund of Need for Books and Blankets is still open if you want to support this wonderful project. A little history on that project that actually started the group of uh, our friends who were together on New Year's Eve night trying to figure out how do we stay awake until midnight and decided it'd be fun to uh, to uh, get some blankets out in time and, and, and do some good for the community. 
while we were uh, celebrating the New Year's Eve. And it's it's become a tradition, and, and we've got a number of different community groups that that uh, support that in addition to the financial support from the foundation. So uh, it's good to see that those those blankets are, are well used. Um, we got one final video tonight, and uh, this one is sponsored by Newkirk Novak Construction Company. And it is a tribute to a legendary center educator, Mr. Don Schaefer. Don was a music educator for many years at Redbridge Center North Junior High School and Center High School. And as you will hear in this video, his impact on people was truly life-changing. He passed away last year, and we wanted to share a bit of his remarkable life with you. going to be playing at halftime at the Chiefs Raiders game over Thanksgiving weekend and I kind of opened my eyes I'd never seen the Chiefs play before I remember uh, my sophomore year at center that fall we worked our butts off you know early morning at night and in those days it was pretty common for high school bands to play at halftime but it was usually like three or four of them added together for us it was just center and we went down there and uh, played Old Municipal Stadium. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's, it's a thrill that kids today just simply don't get. And uh, uh, it, it was an amazing time. That happened to be the year the Chiefs won the Super Bowl the first time, 51 years ago. One of the funniest stories that my family always remembers is that my parents would not get me to rehearsal on time my freshman year for marching band. And so Don solved that problem for me. He goes, Karen, just tell him it's 30 minutes earlier that I changed the time. I was never late again to a rehearsal. I lied to my parents all through high school. I have to say we used to end I think it was the last concert of the year. We used to play Percy Granger's Danny Boy, which is called the London Derriere, which we always called the London Derriere. I cannot play that piece to this day without thinking about Mr. Schaefer and without, you know, like getting worked up. And I just think, you know, I keep saying what a gift it was. And I really just think that he, he and especially Shirley, just what a model of family and marriage and kindness that they gave. I mean, just the countless hours that you look back now as an adult and you just think, how did he have the time? How did they have the time to give so freely and so lovingly to generations of us who are his students? And he was a demanding teacher, but he, he made you really want to be excellent and do your best. Um, just such a great guy. Just, um, I know there's some quotation, it's probably Maya Angelou who said something like, um, you don't remember what people say, but you remember how they make you feel. And he always made you feel very appreciated. And It's important to invest yourself in other people. Sometimes, you know, all, all the time. It's important to um, take the time to um, be a part of someone else's life and and uh, take the time to share. And um, I'm not articulating myself very well, but I think without without really saying anything, he he sort of just set that example that um, here we are, there's 20 kids plopped in a very tiny living room. We didn't have a big house. 
my mom's playing the piano for everybody and here's all these kids just sitting around listening to each other and I thought you know what a community that is we're all there to lift each other up and support each other and I think that's pretty awesome dad always showed us with his actions and with his words that encouragement goes a long way um, people really do respond to that and um, including everyone is also part of it dad didn't like anyone you know maybe there was someone not as popular or whatever everyone was included where they everyone is part of the group and that was a really nice feeling of uh, community not just around our house and neighbors and things but with the band kids too you know having all the seniors come over for a final picnic at the house and cooking hamburgers on the grill and and uh my my dad i mean i can remember when i was uh, um a senior in high school my dad and i would get up crazy early so he could you know get to school and get first hour rolling and, and uh but we'd we'd pick up kids to, to go to band in the morning. He'd make, uh, he'd make sure that they had a great time and made them feel included. And he just had that magic about him. Uh, uh, he believed in, in me and uh, in tough times and in good times. He, he And I think all of us need that. And that's one thing I've taken from my dad is uh, try to share with people that you believe in them because everyone needs that. Because um, if, if you don't have that, it's, it's tough rowing. Great video, and, and uh, thanks to all the people who participated in, in putting that together. Um, an amazing man, obviously. It, it's uh, beautiful looking at the comments uh, on Facebook as that was playing. And um, uh, if you're on time, you're late. That was one of his uh, uh, famous phrases that so many people remember. And, and just so many tributes in the comments here to Don Schaefer and and uh, I, I shared that video with his his children, and uh, they they really really appreciate all the the tribute. So um, wonderful man, wonderful video. Uh, you'll be able to see that video along with all the full recordings of the different people we talked to about Don. Uh, will be on the Center Museum YouTube channel, uh, and you can get to that through the uh, foundation website, centereducationfoundation.org. So. Uh, check that out. Uh, it'll be all updated by uh, uh, tomorrow or Monday uh, with all the, the latest stuff. And uh, we're really excited to, to go uh, uh, in that new dimension with the museum. Um, one, one we're, we, we have a watch party going on. <laughs> and, and here we are at the Walters house. We've got a bunch of very dedicated uh, PTO volunteers. Uh, how's it going over there? How, how, are you, how are you doing over there, guys? It is going great. So we want to encourage everybody to take that last minute and bid on their auction items and just support the Center Foundation. We have all of us PTO people between the middle school and Redbridge. And please support us and bid on those auction items. We Woo! thank you and we appreciate it. Yay, Center Foundation! <laughs> Awesome. Now, now there, there was no yellow jacket stinger consumed on the property. There was there tonight. Oh no! Oh, okay, good, good. Okay. It was all water, Rick. All water. Very good. And that South Kansas City water, it's, it's good stuff. Yes. The South <laughs> Kansas City water is the best. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for uh, for checking in. We are, we're very excited and. Hopefully everybody else is having just as good a time wherever you're watching from. So I uh, really appreciate everybody's support. Uh, and, and, and as April said, uh, bid, bid, bid. Uh, I'm, I'm told our total auction amount is over $17,000 in current bids, uh, which is a remarkable number. We really appreciate that. 50-50 contest ended up at $1,250. Uh, so that was pretty amazing as well. Going to bring uh, Jennifer Blank into the studio again. And Jennifer, 
Uh, how did the trivia contest end up? Tell us about those results. Well, Rick, it was hard, hard trivia. As, as everyone was saying on our social media pages, man, that was tough stuff. But some people really persevered. Our average score from our 43 respondents was about seven or eight correct answers out of our 16 multiple choice. So man, that was tough. But remember, I'll be sending out all of those correct answers either later to my, tonight or tomorrow so that you can learn a little bit more about the school district that we all love so much. But there is a winner. In fact, we have three top placeholders here and there was a tie. So we get to bring in that tiebreaker donut question that I was hinting to you about as well. So remember our average correct answers was about seven or eight out of 16. Our third place winner with 12 correct questions out of 16 was, do a little drum roll for me at home. It was Joyce Studemeyer. Joyce Studemeyer, congratulations. You're one of our trivia winners tonight. And then we had a tie for first place. So we used that tiebreaker question to uh, split these winners up into first and second place here. Now our tiebreaker question, it was a fun one. Let me read that for you. Our tiebreaker question was, the center community is home to more donut shops than bars. Name the five donut shops located within center boundaries. So our winner who ended up getting second place, both of these top scorers got 13 out of 16 questions correct. So man, they know their center trivia. Our second place winner knew three of the donut shops. They knew Lamar's on 99th and Holmes. They knew Dunkin' Donuts on 101st and Wernal. And they knew Fluffy Fresh on 103rd and State Line. That second place winner is Jerusha Geringer. Congratulations. And our first place winner also got 13 correct answers out of 16 trivia questions. But this person must know their donut shops because this person got all five of those donut shops correct. In addition to Lamar's, Dunkin' Donuts, Flushy, Fluffy Fresh, we have Hertz Donuts in Ward Parkway Center and V's Sweets and Treats. We need to send a big congratulations to our trivia winner, Joe Nastasi. Joe Nastasi, congratulations. You're our winner tonight. And all three of those winners do receive prizes. I know Rick has some cool bobbleheads of uh, Royals players and also some Center Foundation pint glasses and wine glasses available. And so he will be in contact with you to get those prizes to you. Congratulations and thank you for playing trivia with us. Thank you, Jennifer. And yes, wait, I will get in touch. We've got some great Royals memorabilia and some foundation things. Uh, congratulations to all our winners. Uh, Joe, um, no commentary or judgment whatsoever that you knew all five donut shops. Um, uh, you are a man who knows our entire school district. And uh, that that is a largely due, I'm sure, because of your many, many years of service as a member of our Board of Education. So thank you, Joe, and congratulations. Uh, we'll be in touch uh, on your prizes. Uh, so now we need to do our other contest is our 50-50 contest. And uh, it's time. We've got all the entries in. Like I said, we got uh, $1,250 collected. So the winner will get if my math is correct, $625. Um, and we've got our wheel of spinning, which every one of your names is entered in there. If you bought five tickets, your name's in here five times. If you bought 50 tickets, your name's in here 50 times. So Alec, are you ready to spin it? Do it. Yolanda Cargyle, Superintendent of Schools. Congratulations, Dr. Cargyle. We are very excited to award that to you. And uh, we'll be in touch to, to see what you want to do with your winnings here. Uh, so hope everybody had a good time with that one. Uh, again, we raised uh, a, a lot of money 
uh, for our students and teachers with that. I think that is a record for our 50-50 contest. Uh, so uh, we're, we're very, very excited about it. Uh, what else do we need to do here? Let me, let's see. Okay, some important announcements as we wrap up. And, and uh, as I said, the auction will stay open until 9 p.m. So you can get those last bids in. Um, just so you know, there, there's a feature on our, uh, I, I'm, I'm seeing a message from Dr. Cargyle here. Um, uh, there's a feature on our auction site called anti-sniping. So if you've got a bid in on an item and somebody comes in at the last second and outbids you, you will have a chance to respond to that. You'll get a message saying you've been outbid and you'll have five minutes to get back on and raise your bid if you want. And, and that way you, you, you don't get aced out uh, just because you, uh, you weren't there at the very last second. So that will be available. So it may stay, as few items may stay open a bit longer than nine o'clock for that reason. Also, if you are a winner, you will get a, an email this evening uh, letting you know that you are the, uh, the winner of whatever items you have won. And there will be instructions there for checking out. It's really important that before you, uh, you, you go to bed tonight, if you can, uh, check out on the auction site, go to, to my account, you can do the checkout process. And that's when you confirm the items you've won, confirm the donations you've made, and uh, you will get your credit card charged. So uh, we can't give you your items until you've gone through that checkout process. So please do that uh, as soon after the auction closes as possible. Um, and see my Beats Studio 3 headphones, Alex got that. Yeah, I was, I was going for those. I, I tried those out. Those are truly awesome. Somebody else outbid me. Uh, I just want to point out to everybody, you know, they, they look pretty cool if you just scroll by them and you're like, oh, cool, headphones. But if you read the description, the you cannot buy these. These were exclusively made just for the Kansas City Chiefs players in congratulations for their Super Bowl victory. So you literally cannot buy these in stores. It's just a really, really incredible auction item that we got from SA, correct? And that's you got this Yeah, SA SA got uh, arranged for us to get this and we really appreciate that. Uh, so yeah, those, those are special. And I will tell you in, in uh, uh, because I'm just this kind of guy, I want to test out the quality of the product before we put it up for the auction. So I did plug them in and listen to them. The sound is absolutely amazing. So they, they are they're worth more than four hundred dollars. Hope you get on there and, and uh, uh, bid that uh, up even higher. Um, so the the email you get if you're a winning bidder will also have instructions for item pickup uh, and, and contact information on that. We're going to be doing the item pickup tomorrow afternoon, but we will uh, certainly make alternate arrangements for people if if they're not able to get by and, and pick those up tomorrow. So uh, that information will be in the email you get uh, if you're the winning bidder. Uh, so thank you so much for watching with us tonight. Yeah, we've had a great time. Uh, once we got past our little tech glitches and, and thank you for your patience there. Uh, yeah, this has been a very different kind of event for, for both us and, and for all of you. Um, we really hope next year we're back in person again. There's nothing like being being face to face and, and share the, uh, uh, the Yellow Jacket family uh, together in person and, and hope that that will happen again. Uh, special thanks again to Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Kansas City and all of our great sponsors. Uh, thanks to our foundation board of directors. Uh, thanks to our planning committee. Uh, thanks to, to Alec, my son, and, and Denise, my wife, who've been doing a lot of the behind the scenes work on this. Uh, uh, thanks, Jennifer, for the, the, the great work on the, the trivia contest. Uh, and most of all, thanks to all of you for your support of, of all of our teachers and students. Uh, I hope you enjoyed tonight. I hope you have a great west, rest of your weekend. And uh, as always, it's a great day to be a center yellow jacket. Good night and take care.